Okay, now I'm frying the chicken. Okay, chicken breast. And basically, what I like about chicken breast is that you just need to turn and turn and turn until they are cooked. Okay, when I was in the US, right, I, I used to think that beef uh, is cooked in the same way. So I would like throw my beef, okay, and just fry the same way. But I realized that for beef, when you cook for too long, it actually becomes very hard and therefore remains uneatable. So since then I said, okay, I'm going to eat only chicken and pork because chicken and pork has less uh, micromanagement need needed. All you need to do is to, uh, you, you cannot basically overcook chicken or pork, but you can overcook beef. Okay, so that's why chicken requires less uh, micromanagement than pork, than beef, sorry. Okay, so that's one thing good about chicken breast. Just keep turning. And when I was when I first started cooking in the United States, okay, I it's like I realized that you cannot have water mixed with the oil. Okay, it's fluttered a lot. Okay, so make sure you dry everything first. Uh, as especially this ladle they are using now, and that it will help me to uh, cook without of the oil fluttering. Okay, so chicken breast is very easy to cook. Just need to turn, keep turning and turning and turning. Okay, as, as you can see, right the the chicken breast meat is slowly becoming uh, white. Okay, once all the raw parts are cooked, you can basically stop. And what I have here is the pot. Okay, this pot is where I will cook the the Japanese curry. Okay, so the whole I the whole idea is that I'll after all this chicken and the luncheon meat is cooked, I'm gonna pour everything okay into the pot of water here, and I'm gonna put the Japanese curry cube in to make my tasty Japanese curry. Okay, so keep turning and turning. Okay, so uh, there's probably a bit too much chicken meat inside there, but it's okay. Now, the, the good thing about my recipe, this Japanese curry, is that you don't have to worry too much if, let's say, uh, there are some parts of the chicken that is not fully cooked. Okay, because the whole idea is that you are going to put them into boiling water at the end anyway. So, what I think is that, uh, that even if there are some raw parts of the chicken, once it is put in boiling water, it will still be uh, eventually cooked. Okay, so no worry. Now, I have to say that the cutting of the big chicken breast uh, into all these small parts took so much more effort than I expected. Man, I've not cooked for a long time. Okay, so I'm going to uh, end the video here now and uh, I'll take some pictures and maybe I'll start video again when it's time. Okay.